Good morning, fourth grade online learners. We are very excited to be here today, except I have a small headache, but we're getting through the day. I hope you're feeling okay at home. Um, tomorrow's our quiz. On the board, it's hard to see, but I said on Monday, no journal entry, just read your books. Tuesday, there was a journal entry yesterday. Wednesday's a journal entry, and you should look for your study guide online and study it. Thank you. Because the study guide online is your key to doing good on the quiz. And Lily just brought it up, and I'll show you. This is your key. Along with the book, pages 832 to 837. If you do that, you'll do good. I'll be right back. I have to get my book. I'm back. This is the lesson. We're learning about eating food today and what happens when you eat it. We talked about the digestive system, the path of the food. It begins when you bite into something with your teeth, your tongue plays a part, your salivary glands, which you have saliva, and your esophagus, which is your throat. So that's where it all starts, guys. And it eventually goes down through all your internal organs that get involved, and Definitely your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine. And we learned that the small intestine really isn't small. It may be smaller in diameter, but that's where most of the digestion takes place. All right, and eventually we take what we need and we get rid of the rest. Um, blood plays a part and carries nutrients and oxygen to every cell in the body. So all these things help you digest your food. And that's what we're learning about. Um, if you started with your mouth and went all the way down through your digestive system and you somehow unraveled all that, it would be over 30 feet long. So your intestines are very big, even though they call them a small intestine, large intestine. But we're counting the esophagus, um, the stomach, everything that's involved could be over 30 feet long. And it's, it's in your body the food that you eat for 12 to 36 hours. It's there until you either use it or you get rid of it. Okay, so it's not there for a year. It's not there for a minute. 12 hours to 36 hours. How many people have ever drank a lot of something that all of a sudden they feel like they have to use the bathroom a lot? Okay, that's your body saying too, too much, guys. Too much to drink. We're learning about all this on pages 832 to 837. There's also another thing, guys, which is not drinking enough, and you get dehydrated. That tends to happen to me in the summertime when I'm cutting grass. The sun's beating down on me. I feel good. I feel good. I'm getting the grass done. I'm pushing the mower up a hill, and all of a sudden, my body's like, wait a minute. You don't have enough liquid in you. You have not been drinking water while you're doing this. And I start to cramp up. I get a little bit dizzy. And it got so bad one year, I had to call my sister, who is a nurse. And she said, lay on the cold floor and put your feet up until you feel better. And I did. Oh, and drink water. I did, and I felt better. But I was done working for the day, guys. And the older you get, the easier it is to become overcome by heat. So always make sure you hydrate. What does that mean, hydrate? Ellison. Drink liquids. Drink liquids. Preferably water, guys. My neighbor used to play football. He was the starting quarterback for our high school. And he came over my house every day after playing football, and he jumped in the swimming pool. And I really, he was like a hero to me because he was so good at football. And I said, Dan, I will get you whatever you want to drink. You're in the swimming pool. I know you had a rough day. What would you like? Does anybody know what he always asked for? Allison again. Alcohol? No, alcohol would not be good because that dehydrates you. And he was only in high school. So what would be the best thirst quencher? Yes? Uh, water. Water. And I told him, I said, Dan, I have Gatorade. I have orange juice. I have lemon juice. I have whatever you want. He goes, just get me water. And I gave him water, and he was in the swimming pool, and he felt very hydrated again. So whenever I see Dan now, I remind him of that. He has been eating healthier. He got off track for a few years. He's a little bit older than me. He's back on track. He's eating healthy. And he stays hydrated because he works outside a lot. So he has to really stay hydrated. 
even if you don't think you need water. Drink some water on a hot day. All right, fourth grade online learners, make sure that you look at your study guide. A lot of um, terms that you should know for tomorrow's quiz. Make sure you do your journal entries. Uh, and make sure you have a good weekend. These Fridays off could be coming to an end in a few weeks. I can't predict the future, but it's been so nice to be able to have that day to plan for the following week. And good luck, online learners. Enjoy your science and stay hydrated. Everybody say, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.